Nilkan, is the state of the economy looking as happy though? No. <laughs> Okay, clear and precise, and it seems like a very defin definitive, confident answer. What are the markers indicating? Why such a definitive no from your end? See, the, the high frequency indicators have been slowing for a while. Uh, we have seen very uh, uh, sharp, sharp slowdown in everything from you know auto sales to cement sales to, uh, to power demand. Uh, in fact. Uh, the incremental credit impulse is much weaker than it was in the in the last uh, couple of years. So uh, the question for the markets and for all of us uh, is whether this is a temporary cyclical slowdown or is there something more serious? Because what's clear is that there has been a slowdown in government spending, which is now starting to pick up. So the first three, four months of the year, fiscal year, were actually quite bad. Uh, but now we are seeing some signs that things are picking up. I think the monetary conditions also uh, on the quantitative side had been uh, quite weak for a while. And after the bank started to slow down lending around March, April, because their loan deposit ratios had gone to a high level and the regulator wanted that to be brought down, um, it kind of started uh, what I think is a negative spiral, which is that, uh, as you know, deposits are created when loans are given. So if uh, the banks start uh, slowing down credit, deposit growth started to slow as well. Now, that also, uh, at least the first signs are that that is starting to ease. So the RBI has kept overnight liquidity in surplus since July. Uh, we are starting to see the first signs that deposit growth is now starting to pick up. Now, in the next two, three months, as this percolates through the banking system uh, and as the fiscal uh, spending uh, resumes, one should expect that this slowdown is temporary, but there is no doubting that the current conditions are uh, far lower than what the run rate was six months back. Hmm. So you're not ruling out a structural slowdown, right? Is that what you're saying, Neelkant? That maybe the best for the growth, at least in the very near term, could be behind us? Uh, actually, I would say the worst of the growth should be behind us in the sense that we may be going through what is a cyclical bottom. Uh, so the 7% the odd growth that uh, the economy can deliver, uh, so if you see labor input, capital input, and total factor productivity. I think that framework still suggests that we should be growing at 7%. We have recently uh, sort of re-emphasized that the return of the real estate cycle and the need to construct a lot more of power plants means that the investment cycle uh, is still on a good footing. And uh, therefore, it is unlikely that uh, structurally there is a problem. But uh, what we do need to see is uh, a pickup in fiscal spending and uh, some amount of monetary easing, at least on the quantitative side.